Hello and good afternoon. Thank you for joining this session. And um, before we start, I'd like to introduce you to founder of TextMine, Charles Brett. Hello. Thank you everyone for joining this webinar. So um, topic of today is uh, extracting data from uh, supplier contracts uh, and related agreements. Um, there's a short presentation followed by a demo. Uh, feel free to ask questions in the chat and uh, we will answer them. Um, but it, this talk uh, shouldn't take longer than 15 minutes. Um, so, but of course we can extend uh, if required based on questions or any, any feedback. So um, we're gonna start with uh, the presentation. Um, so very quick uh, instructions of the company. Um, and then we'll sort of talk about the challenges with uh, extracting data from supply agreements, uh, how uh, you might approach this, um, and in particular, how you might approach this with uh, generative AI, and then we'll sort of demonstrate this uh, at the end. So just a, a bit of background. Um, so XMind was uh, co-founded by uh, myself, Amber. Uh, I have a background in engineering, Amber in legal, and we were both very much frustrated with how uh, data and contracts uh, was sort of managed within businesses. Uh, and we've since uh, expanded beyond uh, contracts to things like uh, invoices, statements of work, uh, purchase orders, etc. cetera. Um, effectively, uh, what we do is we help uh, procurement operations, finance and legal teams uh, automate the extraction of data from their documents, but also um, the ability for them to answer questions about those documents at scale. Um, and we can help basically streamline any manual documentation or extraction workflow that you might have. So uh, to come back to today's topic of supply agreements, uh, one of the key challenges with supply agreements is that uh, they come in uh, many different uh, shapes and sizes. Uh, they also tend to be quite lengthy documents, uh, and especially if uh, the term of the contract is for multiple years, um, those supply agreements uh, might also have amendments um, and it's not uh, unusual for a supply agreement to be amended uh, multiple uh, times. Um, it's also difficult uh, to track uh, price increases or uh, variations uh, within these uh, supply agreements, especially if you're engaged with uh, a supplier over many years. Um, and then finally, uh, if ever you have also entered into a master service agreement uh, and you're sort of uh, contracting work via SAWs, um, it might also be tricky to understand uh, if, for example, uh, the work scoped out in the statement of work um, is uh, compliant with what was uh, agreed in the contract, or maybe you might need a new contract. So uh, generally speaking, uh, supply agreements for enterprises uh, is a, a key challenge um, to sort of maintain, track and manage. Um, and the current approach for extracting data from supply agreements within enterprises is manual. Uh, so there'll be uh, contract administrators, for example, who'll be responsible for uh, going through those documents, uh, extracting uh, information, and, and maybe storing it in uh, an ERP system or a spreadsheet. Um, and this presents many challenges. Of, you know, obviously, human error is one of them. Uh, but the main one is it's uh, very time-consuming, uh, labor-intensive, uh, and not necessarily a great use of uh, those people's times. Um, one reason why it's still the dominant approach to extracting data from uh, supply agreements is that uh, traditional machine learning uh, or previous technologies such as OCR uh, really do struggle uh, to extract information uh, from supply agreements uh, because of their length, uh, because of their variability, um, and, and also the fact that uh, they tend to need to be developed on quite a bespoke basis, so a specific supply agreement template as opposed to supply agreements uh, in general. Um, so thanks to generative AI, um, the uh, generalizability of uh, data extraction uh, is now good enough uh, for supply agreements and other more complicated uh, documents like master service agreements. And uh, effectively the key part um, that can be automated is the uh, reading and understanding of documents uh, and the uh, extraction information for the purposes of uh, inputting it into an ERP system or a spreadsheet. Now, uh, the key benefit also of generative AI and, and just AI models in general is that 
uh, they continuously learn and improve. Um, and uh, in particular, if uh, your uh, colleagues who are doing the data extraction, uh, instead of having them do the extraction, you have them reviewing the information, um, then you can really turbocharge uh, the learning process of those models. So in terms of how the uh, extraction works with Genesis AI, um, I'm going to uh, switch screens. So what you're looking at here now uh, is Vault, uh, which is uh, our document data extraction module. So um, I've already pre-uploaded some uh, agreements, but um, either via file storage, drag and drop, uh, or email, uh, you can also import uh, you know, documents quite easily. And when you import um, documents into the system, uh, our large language model, uh, which is uh, our own model that we're sort of self-hosting, so we're not using OpenAI, we're not using any third parties. Uh, this model is able to read the text, automatically categorize it as a supply agreement or whatever type of agreement it is. And then once it's detected the type, um, it will uh, extract all the uh, key information. So for example, if we go to um, this SOW that we extracted the process before, um, basically we're able to extract uh, all the key information that you might be tracking manually. Um, so this is all automated. Um, so for example, we've got the, the notice period, we're terminating the SOW. With all of these tags um, that we're generating on the right, you can click on them and it'll take you to the part of the document where I was extracted from. Um, but the other thing to highlight is because this is a large language model, uh, we are able to also answer uh, yes, no questions. So we're able to pull out um, the entire clauses if relevant, um, but we're also able to answer yes, no questions, uh, which uh, a procurement uh, manager might be going through, uh, for example, when they're reviewing a new contract. For example, here we can jump to uh, a supply agreement. Um, so again, we've got more yes, no type questions. Um, and effectively, everything that you're looking to track, so whether that's uh, an increase and how a supplier can increase uh, the prices or whether it's, for example, uh, termination, um, all of this can be tracked uh, automatically and quite easily by um, the model. Um, the other thing to highlight is that um, the model can also work with scan documents. So for example, here we've got a scan and we can see that um, the model is still able to uh, extract information uh, and answer the questions. Um, and then uh, here we can see, for example, this uh, supply agreement that we just uploaded is finished processing. Um, again, we can jump into it and we can see uh, all the tags uh, that have been extracted uh, automatically. So this process here that I'm showing is really how you would uh, extract uh, information from it. Um, once you've done this process, uh, you then will uh, push these documents um, to legislate, which sort of acts as uh, the repository um, for your documents. So if we go to legislate, um, you can then see um, the documents that were uploaded, and then you will be, will be able to basically then filter through uh, those document types. So uh, let's say you wanted to generate a summary of all your supply agreements. Uh, you can select the supply agreement type, um, and then you can filter down further uh, if, if, if necessary. So you could, for example, um, you know, say, show me all the um, you know, supply agreements uh, for this product. And then you can see it's, it's quickly identified um, the the, the supply agreement matching that criteria, uh, or you might be interested in the SOWs. Um, but the key thing is that uh, with all of these uh, document types, uh, you can then export a summary uh, in tabular format so that if ever you needed to uh, import this uh, data into uh, an ELP system uh, or um, import it, uh, generate a summary for your stakeholders, uh, you can then uh, do that quite easily. So each row corresponds to one of the documents matching that search criteria. Uh, and then each column is one of the tags um, that's been extracted. And, and we're also extracting uh, things like uh, the jurisdiction uh, and also the party uh, information. Um, so uh, we're able to sort of generate these summaries very quickly. Um, and this is uh, very useful 
uh, when it comes to uh, managing supplier agreements. So um, this is uh, the uh, end of the demo. Um, if you have uh, any questions, uh, feel free to post them in the chat. Okay, so the first question is, can TextMind integrate with other software or platforms that we use? Yeah, so in terms of importing, uh, we have uh, native integration with these file storage solutions. Um, we can also integrate with email inboxes, and we can uh, also develop custom integrations via our public API. Okay, so how does TextMind handle confidential or sensitive information during the extraction process? So um, effectively, um, we're a, I mean, we take uh, security very seriously at TextMind, so we're ISO 27001 uh, credited, uh, which means that uh, all uh, information that's going from your environment to TextMine uh, is encrypted. Um, and and then we we then sort of the platform is authenticated, so uh, it's all secure. Um, but but effectively, uh, when you upload documents into the system, um, the model will interact with those documents and, and provide the metadata that, that you require. Uh, but but it's a very similar experience to, uh, you know, uploading documents to your SharePoint, uh, except this time you're just uploading your documents to TextMine. Great. And the next one is, how does the platform handle variations in layouts and structures? So, so uh, we can still work with uh, documents that um, might have tables and we can extract answers from those tables. Um, if ever, for example, there was uh, a specific table that you wanted to extract and maintain the structure, um, then that is a capability that we, we can do depending on the document type. Um, and if it's uh, a new document type, then we would just work with you to understand, uh, you know, if you if, if this structure needs to be extracted entirely or not, and, and we would just um, fine tune the model to do that. Great. And the next one is, you mentioned you're using your own LLM. How did you train it and what data was it trained on? Does this have an impact on accuracy? Yeah, yeah. so um, we're using um, open source models um, that we're self-hosting. Uh, and that we've then fine-tuned uh, on our own data. So uh, this data is a combination of private data uh, and public sources. And the other question is, what industries do you work with? Um, we work with a broad range of industries, uh, ranging from finance, uh, legal, uh, and just uh, you know general general businesses. Um, but but in terms of the the teams that we work with, uh, it can be. Uh, the chief information officer teams, the chief data teams, uh, or the procurement and finance and legal teams. Um, so a very horizontal platform. Okay, the next question is, is there a limit to how many supplier agreements can be processed? No limit. Uh, it really just comes down to how many supplier agreements you have and uh, which data points you're looking to extract. Okay, next one is, how reliable is the data extraction process? So, so the accuracy of the model is pretty good. Um, and what we find with our clients is that uh, if ever there's a specific data point that you're looking to extract that the model maybe is not used to seeing uh, with some additional fine tuning on our end, we can uh, very quickly uh, improve the performance. Um, so uh, effectively, the, the model is able to learn quickly, meaning that uh, the accuracy is already very high, but it can be improved with additional training and cooperation. What's on the roadmap for the next year? Um, so obviously in this demo, uh, we sort of demonstrated uh, the extraction process um, and the ability to export that data in CSV format. Uh, what we're now working on uh, is the ability to do things with this data, um, whether that's uh, generating a report uh, or uh, combining it with other data. Uh, and so this is something that we're working on. So uh, yeah, I won't reveal uh, more, but um, stay tuned uh, to find out what we're doing. Hey, great. Well, thank you all very much for joining. Um, I'd like to obviously hand you over to Charles just to finish. But um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for um, attending. And uh, yeah, feel free to, to reach out to sales at textmind.com uh, if you have any questions or want to see a demo.